What's up and welcome back to another episode of Book Reviews. Today, we have honestly one of my most favorite books in the world, Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, founder of Nike. Guys, this book is incredible. First of all, I love it because it's not a 12 steps to things Nike did to succeed. It's not a three tips to make better business sales. All it is, is his story. Phil Knight, the creator of Nike, wrote this book just to tell a story of the brand and how it came to be. Warren Buffett said it was the best book that he read last year. Phil is a gifted storyteller and that he is. Phil covers from the very beginning of Nike to when he graduated college to the very end of when he's still kind of in the middle of it just before Nike gets big. It's not a success story. It's not at all that. It's how did Nike get started and how did it build from where it was? Phil just flew across the ocean, landed in Japan, and just had a meeting with some shoe executives. He, had the, he said he had this business back home. He had offices in Portland called Blue Ribbon, and he was trying to hook, get hooked up with the distributor, and he had none of that. He lived in Hawaii for a couple months before he just flew out to Japan, said they ha he has this whole thing. They give him this deal. He flies home and starts making shoes. There's a lot of politics. There's an FBI investigation. What? The thing I love most about it is that it's honest. The Nike swoosh is one of the most recognizable symbols today, right up there with the Coke sign and the Adidas sign. That's kind of ironic. And this guy started it. He had a dream and he pursued it. There were a bunch of people telling him, sorry, that, it's got a text message. That's my bad. Let me just turn my phone on silent. There's a bunch of people telling him, no, you're crazy, including his dad. And he, he kind of listened to it. He took the good advice that he could, but still he just kept his head facing forward and went on this journey. I think I finished this book in about a week or so. It's so it's not like, it looks big. There's a lot of words on the pages, but it's such a fun read. Like all it is, is a big giant story. So you kind of get wrapped up in the story of how this company started. There's a couple life and leadership applications found in this book that are very in context, which is cool because it's not, oh, do this and you will be a successful business entrepreneur. It's just his story and you learn, huh, he did this and that happened, so I'm gonna do this in this situation. The back says, young, searching, fresh out of business school, Phil Knight borrowed $50,000 from his father and launched a company with one simple mission, import high quality, low cost running shoes from Japan. The Cortez was the first shoe Nike came out with his running, and now it has shoes like the Flyknit, the Vapors, partnered with Fear of God to have like a street casual shoe. So Nike's come a long way, and it was really, really cool to see where it started. If you've read this book already, go ahead and comment. What are your thoughts? What are your takeaways? I've met a couple people who actually don't like Shoe Dog because that's not the story of how Nike like became successful. It's just kind of the background story of how it started and some things that Nike dealt with before it got big. So don't read it thinking you're gonna get massive tips on how to grow this big brand because that's not what it is. It's just the story of how it kind of got to right where it jumped off to be this big brand today. So Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you have not already. Smash that like button if that's something you're into and go ahead and comment what your thoughts are on Shoe Dog.